Hello, I'm Tom, and in this video I will solve the puzzles in the uh, bottom right section of the game RIP. Okay, um, the new thing in this section is black circles here. We need a black and a red tile, so we know from before that like this needs to have a red neighbor, so the red one needs to be here. And since this is completed, assumingly this black circle indicates that it has to have a black neighbor, an uncolored neighbor, okay? So here uh, we have black and red and red and yellow, which means um, the two blue tiles have to be here and here. Um, this one has to be the red tile, because we only have one red tile, and that's the only joint neighbor to those two tiles. And um, we need a yellow tile there, and the black tile is here. Okay, um, here we can look at the centerpiece. We only have one yellow tile, so um, the centerpiece has to be yellow according to this clue and to this clue, right? Uh, yellow is already selected. So we have a red tile that has to be a neighbor to this one, so it can only be here. And we have a blue tile that has to be a neighbor to this one, so it can only be here, and that completes this puzzle. Here we have two red tiles and a yellow tile. Now the two red tiles have to be in two of these three uh, tiles. And we also need two red tiles for this one. So these are the joint neighbors for both tiles here with the clues. So these two tiles have to be red. And the yellow tile has to be up here as the remaining neighbor for this piece. Okay. So let's see where we get with these black tiles. Okay, here we can start by uh, looking at the fact that we only have one red tile, but two red tile clues, basically. So um, we need a joint neighbor for both of these tiles, and that would only be this one. This one has to be red in order to comply with this red clue and with this red clue. Now, um, the next step uh, I found is not that easy, but uh, it's the only step I found. It's by looking at the yellow tiles, because we only have yellow tiles, uh, two yellow tiles in this puzzle, but we do need uh, somehow to comply with four yellow tile clues, okay? So if we look at this tile, for instance, it needs one yellow neighbor. It could be here or here. If this ye yellow tile was here, it wouldn't satisfy the need for a yellow neighbor of any other clue. It's not a neighbor to this uh, tile here. This tile is not a neighbor to this tile, and this is also not a neighbor to this tile. So the remaining yellow tile would somehow have to be a joint neighbor of all these three tiles, but there is no such tile. This one is only a neighbor to these two. This one is only a neighbor to uh, these two. And uh, I think these are all the neighbors, actually. This one is only a neighbor to this tile is only neighbor to these two, yeah. So we know that this one cannot be a yellow tile. Um, the yellow neighbor of this tile here has to be in here, thereby also uh, complying with this clue here. Oh, I need to select yellow first. So um, we have yellow now here for this one and for this one, a yellow neighbor. And we need another yellow neighbor for this one and for this tile, for these two tiles. So the joint neighbor would be this one. There is no other tile, so this one also has to be yellow. Now from this clue, we know we have red already here. We have a yellow neighbor here. That means this one has to be a black tile. And um, if we look at um, this clue now here, we know we need a blue tile here. This one has to be... Uh, no, we actually... Yeah, it has to be blue. We know that. Thereby also complying with this uh, clue here, which means that we have a yellow neighbor, here, this yellow neighbor, and we have a blue neighbor, which means this one also has to be a black neighbor. These two tiles are black neighbors, which means for the remaining blue color, we can only use this tile here. And that completes the puzzle. Moving on to the next puzzle, we get um, a puzzle that we also can only solve by some pre-thinking, uh, especially what colors would be in here. Now, um, like this tile doesn't touch any uh, 
tile with a clue inside. Yeah, that's important also to note. Um, so in these uh, pieces here, I somehow need yellow and yellow and blue. Yeah. Um, so, but let's start by looking at the black tiles here. Actually, inside, we have three neighboring tiles that each need a black neighbor. And for this I definitely need two tiles. And I can also say that these uh, two, uh, two black tiles. I can also say that these black tiles have to be inside here in uh, these three pieces somehow. Because if a black tile was here, that would comply with this clue. But I would have two neighboring tiles that each need another neighboring black tile. And this I can only achieve with two more tiles of the color black. One tile is not enough. Yeah. So um the black tiles have to be here inside these three uh in, in these inner three pieces. Yeah. And the blue tile also has to be either here or here. So inside these inner three pieces have to be black and black and blue. Yeah. Black and black and blue. That means the yellow tiles can't be in here. They have to be there and there. And here we get an extra clue also. We know that um, now the blue, the red tile has to be there. And we know that we need another blue tile here. Which means the two black tiles are here. Right? Okay. I'm going a bit faster through these explanations now. I'm not so thorough in explaining. Um, because I'm at such a late stage of this game, so I'm assuming that you are familiar with the basic concepts of how to deduce where what color has to be. Now in this uh, puzzle we have to look at these two clues first. Both clues have three color clues inside. yeah, Black, yellow and red. And both uh, tiles have three neighbors. One, two, three and one, two, three. So it is safe to assume that this tile and this tile, both of these tiles, contain only the colors black, red or yellow. Black, red or yellow. Now if I'm combining this with this clue, I can know that these tiles cannot hold blue, which means this blue tile has to be up here. And looking at this clue now, we need two red tiles and a blue tile. Now we only have one blue tile left. And we have two more tiles that also require a blue neighbor. So the only joint neighbor for these three tiles uh, is this one. So this one has to be blue also. So now I can see that I need two more red neighbors here and here. Those are the only possible positions. And then I need yellow neighbors here and here. Now if I start looking at this clue here, we need another yellow and a black neighbor. We have one red neighbor here and two neighbors left, so these have to be uh, black and yellow. But if I'm combining this tile here with this clue, yeah, this tile can only have the colors yellow or red. Blue is already taken up here, right? So um, this has to be yellow or red, and according to this clue it has to be yellow or black, so it has to be yellow. Yeah? So we also know that this tile has to be black, and we know from this clue that this tile has to be red. Let's mark this red. So we have yellow and black here. So we need another red tile down here. Furthermore, if I'm looking at this clue now, we have a blue neighbor here and a yellow neighbor here. So the red neighbor that is not there yet can only be here. And that means that for this clue we have a red, like two red tiles actually, and the remaining black tile has to be here. So this is black and red, black and red, which means, which means the uh, yellow tile of this clue can only be down here. And that leaves us with one yellow tile. And this yellow tile cannot be here, because this is black. It cannot be here, because this is black. It can also not be here, because this is the only black neighbor to this tile. And it can also not be here, because this is the black neighbor to this tile. So the only place for the remaining yellow piece is here. Okay, let's move on. Um, yes, we can start this puzzle by looking at this clue here. We have three neighboring pieces and we need 
two pieces with yellow and blue. Now these two pieces cannot be here and here, because then we wouldn't have two pieces left for red and black. So that means one of these yellow or one of these yellow or blue pieces needs to be here, right? And because that is the fact, we know that this red piece has to be here. There. So now um, here we need two uh, black neighbors. We have three potential uh, tiles for this. But if we look at this outside clue here, we know we only have two black neighbors. And that means, like because we also need a black neighbor to this piece, we need a joint neighbor to those two pieces that is black. And the only joint piece to these two pieces is this one. So this piece has to be black. That much we know. And because this piece has to be black, we know that these two pieces are yellow and blue, according to this clue. right? Yellow and blue are here somewhere. So now we can look back at this clue. We know that this piece is black, this piece is yellow or blue, so that means this piece has to be red, according to this clue. Already selected red, okay. And now um, we need a red and a blue neighbor here. This one can only be blue or yellow, according to this clue, so the red neighbor has to be here, and the blue neighbor of this one has to be here which means the yellow neighbor, of, according to this clue, has to be here. Remember, this one is black. Um, and we need another blue neighbor. So now we know these two tiles have to be black, according to this, blue, uh, this clue. So the uh, blue tile can only be in here. Next one, please. Yes, here we have to look at uh, the fact that we only have one yellow tile in this puzzle. But we have three tiles with yellow clues, with with a, re a required yellow neighbor. So the only joint neighbor to these three tiles is this one. This one therefore has to be yellow. Now um, we can look at this clue here. Um, we have one, two, three neighbors and three clues. So we can say for sure that this tile is either red or black, right? But if we look at this clue, or also this clue, we can also say that this tile has to be either um, blue or red. Yeah, because um, each of these tiles has three neighbors, one, two, three, or one, two, three. So we know that this, like the, the colors red or blue, have to be somewhere in here. So um, this tile is either red or blue, and red or black, according to this clue. So it has to be red. Okay. Um, furthermore, we only have one red tile left, but we have two pieces with red uh, required with required red neighbors left. This one and this one. Um, so uh, let's see. We know that this one here has to be red or this one has to be red because we need a joint neighbor to these two tiles one is black and one is red okay so these can't be blue that's the main uh, thing oh no wait we have to start here first sorry um we need a blue neighbor here and a blue neighbor there so we can mark these two already and now uh, we have here an extra clue yeah we have one red piece left on the uh, in the puzzle, and as I said before, this red uh, piece has to be a joint neighbor to this clue and to this clue, so it has to be either here or here. But if we look at this clue, it's obvious that it has to be here because we only have one red neighbor already to this uh, piece, one yellow neighbor also, and we need one more red neighbor that can only be here according to these three clues, like this. So now. Um, we know that um, these two tiles have to be black, according to this clue, and according to this and this clue, this tile also has to be black. Uh, all the three black clues, so we only have two blue tiles left in the puzzle, which need to be here and here. And the next puzzle. Yes, we can start by deducing um, that all the colored pieces 
of this uh, puzzle have to be inside here. They have to be, sorry, they have to be neighbors to this blue centerpiece. Um, and they are like, they all have to be here. So that means the brackets, those two brackets here, they don't touch the blue centerpiece. They have to be black. This one is black and this one is black. And that means that uh, we can actually start simply by deducing the red and yellow pieces around the blue piece here, the big blue. We need a yellow neighbor here. Can't be here because this is black, so it has to be here. This yellow neighbor has to be here because it cannot be here. This one is also black. Uh, I touched this twice. Okay, sorry. Um, so now um, we can look at the red pieces. One red piece needs to be here. Uh, according to this clue, it can't be here because this needs to be black. And again, here we need a red neighbor, which cannot be here, so it has to be here. And here we also need a red neighbor, which cannot be here, uh, because this is black and so it has to be here. So the remaining yellow piece has to be here, the neighbor to this piece. And again, it cannot be here, it has to be here. And that's it already. That's actually a very simple puzzle, I think, for this late stage of the game, but, well, on to the next one, which is a bit more difficult, but there were others before I found more difficult. Anyway, um, uh, according to this piece, we need four neighbors with two red tiles and two black tiles. And this piece has exactly one, two, three, four neighbors. Okay, so now um, the two red neighbors have to be somewhere in these two tiles or in these two tiles. Yeah. Now we only have two red tiles in this puzzle. So um, since we have also a red tile uh, as a neighbor required here somewhere, it's safe to say that at least one red tile needs to be up here, specifically in there, because this one doesn't touch this one, it's not a neighbor to this piece, so one red tile would have to be here. And the other red tile has to be somewhere here in order to comply with these two clues, right? So um, we can put one uh, red tile here already. This would be a joint neighbor to this clue piece and to this clue piece, both requiring a red neighbor. And the remaining red neighbor um, has to be either here or here, and it has to be a joint neighbor for this piece, this piece, and this piece. And the only neighbor that uh, complies with these rules is this one. So this one has to be red. Now all the red clues are satisfied here. Yeah. We can move on by looking at the black neighbors here already. We know now that this part has to be black and this piece also has to be black. And those are the two black pieces here. Um, so uh, we have to keep this in mind. Um, so if this one is black, we know that we need another yellow neighbor for this piece. Red is here already. So yellow has to be here, like there. And on that side, we also need a yellow neighbor, which cannot be here, because this is black, but could be here. No, we can't move on with this. We have to look at the red neighbor here. Um, we have a, no, wait, a yellow neighbor. Yes, we have a red neighbor here already. So the only remaining neighbor to this piece is here, and it has to be yellow according to this clue. So now, since this piece is yellow, um, and here is a red neighbor to this piece, we know that this piece has to be blue, um, according to this clue, like this. And um, now what do we see? What else do we see? Yes, we still need a yellow neighbor to this piece here. It can't be here because this one is black, according to this clue, uh, clue remember? So yellow has to be here. And that leaves us with one blue piece that can only be here because those two pieces are black. So blue is here and the puzzle is complete. So on to the final puzzle, which looks much more difficult than it is. And it's only difficult because there are so many black tiles in here that sort of confuse you. But it's actually very simple to find your way through it. Um, you can start with this tile here, which means that this tile has to be black. This tile also has to be black, but the important one is this one. This one has to be black. So now if you look at this clue, this tile has one, two, three neighboring pieces. Um, so uh, if this piece is already black, we have two blue required neighbors that can only be here and here. So let's put in blue here and here. And here we get an extra clue. And this clue, uh, or this tile, also has two neighbors. 
which means that this tile can only be black or blue. And according to this tile, again we have two neighbors and two clues, according to this tile, this tile has to be either black or yellow. So the only joint or the matching color for these two clues in this tile is black. This tile has to be black, which means according to this clue that this tile has to be blue also. Uh, so now um, we can move on from here or from here. Let's start with this one. We know that these two tiles have to be black. Yeah? And if this tile is black, it means according to this clue that this tile has to be red. So let's mark this red. Now we have a yellow tile left. Um, here, uh, if we look at this clue, we have a black, uh, we, we require a black neighbor, which can only be here. And if this tile is black, according to this clue, we need a yellow tile here. And as I said before, I didn't follow this through to the end, this, this uh, deduction here. If this tile is black, that means according to this clue, that this tile has to be yellow also. Okay? It wasn't so difficult, right? Yes, um, that's it already for this part of the game. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me play these puzzles, and I hope you could follow my conclusions. Um, in the next puzzle, I will solve the last remaining puzzle of this game, and I hope to see you then. Uh, until then, bye.